Good evening, parents and families and friends. This is Mrs. Visconti again at Topaz, helping you out with some of the division work for homework. Now, the phrase, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers, may seem strange to you, but it has become a way for the students to remember the many steps to division. First phrase, does, the D is underlined, and that stands for divide. It is our first step in long division. The second word, McDonald's, has the M underlined, and the M stands for multiply. It is our second step. The S in cell stands for subtract. And the C in cheese stands for compare. And our last phrase, burgers, the B stands for bring down. And now I will show you a division problem using these steps and how it will help our students better understand division. Using my steps for division here, I am going to solve this problem. 896 divided by 7. Going to my greatest place value, I will start with divide. I can divide 8 by 7 only one time. 1 multiplied by 7, our second step, is a 7. I now do my third step, which is to subtract. When I am done subtracting, I must go back to my steps, and I see that I need to compare. Is my answer smaller than my divisor? If I can say yes, then I know I'm ready to move on. If I can say no, then I know that my answer here was too small, and I actually need to go up a step in the multiplication tables. When I am done comparing, I now bring down the next digit and work within the next place value. I now divide 19 by 7, and I know that if I multiply 7, our second step here, by 2, I'm going to get a 14, which comes pretty close to 19. Then I move on to step 3, which is to subtract. When I subtract 14 from 19, I am left over with 5. When I compare my answer with my divisor, 5 is smaller than 7, and I know I have done my math correctly. I now go on to my last step, which is to bring down bring down my 6, and now I divide 56 by 7. Well, that's an easy one. The answer is 8, because 8 times 7, doing my second step, gives me a 56. Go on to my next step, and I must now subtract. And I'm left with a 0. So when I compare, I can say that there is nothing else that I can do. 0 is the lowest that I can go. I am now done, and my answer is 128. These are the steps to doing long division using the digit by digit method.